Hi all, Planicide Agent here. Uh, today I'm going to do a burn test uh, between the, my two gasifier stoves. The one on the right here is the uh, Silver Fire Scout. And the one on the left is the uh, Ihuru um, gasifier stove. Okay, and uh, just, just a quick look at it before I load them up and, and fire them up. The uh, Ihuru... It's, uh, it's, it's base is triangle holes. I don't know if it's going to make any difference. And it's the gasifier holes are all square. And there appear to be more of them than on the uh, silver fire. The silver fire's bottom grate. Uh, actually, it looks like there's more, more vent holes in it. Uh, they're a they flame pattern. And these are, like I say, there's looks like there's more of them, so I think you'd get better airflow. So we'll see how they look when we fire them up. Of course, the bottom's got square holes, which don't really make any difference. And this, just more aesthetics. So this one's a polished stainless steel, where this is brushed. So anyway, let's see what else I was going to say about them. Oh, oops, bouncing around. Sorry, hand holding this one, and I'm really not a fan of hand hold shots, but in this case, <laughs> it's going to be. Uh, I did, when I was talking about my stoves earlier, I noticed that this one has a base attached to keep the coals and embers from falling down onto the ground and maybe start a fire. And this one did not, but then I looked at uh, some instructions, <laughs> and they recommend you use this little alcohol burner tray. You can use this to fill with alcohol to use this as an alcohol burner if you never would. So you set that on the ground underneath, and then you put it over the top, and it looks like, oops, sorry, jumping around. Um, looks like it covers all those holes, so that will catch the embers, so that's a good thing. So, anyway, and of course, um, this one's cheaper than this one, although this one was on sale, and I think it was all the uh, the light version. Uh, they have two versions, they have one from made out of 301 stainless, and a, and a uh, cheaper, lighter it's called the light, and it's uh, made out of 201 stainless. I imagine this might be the 201, but I, I don't know. But anyway, uh, and the price is only a few uh, few dollars difference. So I think they Silver Fire kind of came up with the light to kind of compete with all the uh, the Chinese. I think Lexata also makes a gasifier stove, very similar in design. I think their holes are round. But anyway, uh, I'm going to load these up with wood and then get ready to fire them off. Uh, I'm gonna, I think I'm just gonna weigh the wood so, you know, all things being equal. Although, uh, this isn't gonna be a scientific test by any means. I guess if I really wanted to scientifically test, I'd use wood pellets because they're all pretty standard, but I'm not that interested. I just kinda wanna see the difference in the two burns, whether one's better than the other, I don't know. But anyway, I'm gonna probably yeah, put about the same amount of wood in each one and uh, take it outside and fire them up. So. Uh, We'll adjourn to the out of doors. Okay, guys, I'm outside. I got the stoves loaded up. And uh, I actually I measured it out, and each stove has 7.7 .7 ounces of split wood. Although, like I said, if you wanted to scientifically test it, then uh, you'd need to use consistent sized wood. And since the way, oops, the way they fall in here, you know, you're going to get different airflow depending on the, how the, the chunks have been split and how much, uh, you know, the, the, how they stack together and let the airflow in. So, but I really just want to see how they're going to burn as far as the uh, gasifier coals and stuff. And when I'm going to light them off, I'm going to use <laughs> lighter fluid instead of the normal wood shavings, small twigs. Vaseline soap, cotton balls, etc. <laughs> and uh, let's see. Oh yeah, one thing I I did do. I measured the the uh, burn chambers. This burn chamber on the silver fire is a quarter of an inch deeper than the uh, Uhuru. So some of the some of the sticks are up up blocking the vent holes. So I'm gonna let it burn down before I really show the the gasification. So. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna soak these, fire them off, and then I'll get back when uh, when they got a good burn going. Okay, the boat lit off, and uh, just gonna let them kind of burn down and get the gasification process going. 
Okay, they're starting to get a pretty good burn. It's funny, the uh, silver fire seems to be uh, lighting off a lot quicker. I don't know if that's just circumstantial by the amount of uh, <laughs> uh, starter fluid I squirted in there, or maybe it's the airflow. This one looks like it's not really going. I'm wondering if that little uh, tin on the bottom is blocking the airflow. I think I'm going to remove it and just see if it improves because the silver fire obviously is burning pretty good now. Yeah, the silver fire definitely uh, burning really well. I'm wondering if it's uh, because of the, the vent holes, there's more of them. I did, uh, I did remove the, uh, the alcohol tray from underneath. Figured maybe that was restricting the airflow, you know, coming in, oops, underneath and then up. This seems to be getting better. Get over here upwind. <laughs> oops, sorry. It's starting to go finally. Silver Fire's got a real nice burn going. And I can see the gasification going on in there. Probably hard to see on camera. You'll just have to trust me. <laughs> Back over to the Uhuru and it's finally starting to take off. Doesn't seem to be burning quite as efficiently at the, at the start as the Silver Fire did. There you go, the gasification's really going well now. I don't know if you can see the little flames jumping out of those little vent holes. Oop, they stopped now. <laughs> anyway, looks like the uh, Uhuru is finally starting to uh, get a good burn. Maybe part of the problem is that the slow start was the way the wood was stacked in there, different airflow. Like I said, using just irregular sticks, you're not gonna get a real scientific test. Ooh, got flame coming out the bottom over here, but that's probably <laughs> the lighter fluid that dripped through. Okay, looks like the uh, Hiru is starting to gasify. Yeah, there's the flames coming out the, the little square holes, and it's got a good clean burn now. So, uh, probably in the long run, six one half dozen of another, as far as. Uh, which one burns quicker or better? Let's look over at this one. Like I said, both got really big, clean flames. I'm just to get up wind of this. Yeah, looks like I got some little burn underneath the stove which is not good maybe i should have left a little pan under there and just you know waited for it to start it probably eventually would i guess i shouldn't have been impatient so but yeah it's burning real clean now so i guess they're both uh yeah they're probably both good whatever whatever you like i think the workmanship and the quality is better on the silver fire but you know sometimes you have to get what you can afford. And in the end, they both work. So, although, like I said, I think the pot stand is much better on the silver fire than it is on the other one, but it will work, I'm sure. So, anyway, there you go. They're both burning good. So, uh, I'll go ahead and wrap this up now. Hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.